In 2008, Daniel Ek and his friend Martin started a company. They were fed up with privacy issue in music industry. Initially, they launched their music app in three countries: Scandinavia, France, and UK. Further, they planned it properly and expanded their horizon to other European countries like Spain, Germany, Italy. In 2011, they also launched. with thorough planning their app in usa they moved on and also with planning and deliberate reviewing their app able to collaborate with major social media platform like instagram facebook snapchat and now as on today they have more than 312 million subscribers across the world they are able to reach 180 countries i'm talking about the music app spotify you might have heard about spotify model as well but the core concept or the idea why they succeed is their thorough and deliberate planning this planning also applies in scrum and that's the reason one of the major event is sprint planning So let's look into what sprint planning is all about. As a team member of a scrum team, there are three things that a person or an individual need to know about sprint planning. Number one, why certain things need to be done. Number two, what need to be done, and number three, how. Let's get into it. the first one is why the overall sprint need to be done this question will come in the minds of developers this need to be answered by product owner why we should take a specific feature what is the ultimate goal that we are trying to achieve in this sprint so this why part need to be answered by the product owner product owner ensures that the team understand why sprint is valuable because once the team understands it it will be really easy for them to get away with any how or any obstacle that they foresee in the sprint the scrum team also collaborate together and define sprint goal before the end of sprint planning so it's important that once your sprint planning session is complete you not only know what are the list of items that you need to do but few bullet points of what you are trying to achieve from this sprint as sprint goals we will also look at how a sprint planning is being done by a scrum team practically in this course this is the theoretical aspect where you need to understand from the certification point of view but i will also cover a practical aspect with a case study later in this course once the team understand why something need to be done the second aspect is what need to be done now suppose you want to build a mobile app or a banking app that require 50 features now all these 50 features cannot be developed in one sprint or in 3 weeks so it's important for a product owner to decide which of five most or 10 most important item that team need to build right now and that's what i called prioritization as we have discussed in the previous video this list of items are called product backlog now from this product backlog the top items are being picked up and are being mentioned by the product owner what they refers to and why it it need to be done and then the team decide from this set of say 
what can be done now how they will decide it will be based on three factors number one past performance suppose a team is only able to deliver five features in the last six months it cannot go and do a magic and able to deliver 10 in the current sprint so past performance is one of the important criteria the second team capacity it might be possible that holiday seasons might be following or a lot of team members are on holidays and during that time the team capacity need to be considered in order to commit what can be delivered in the given sprint and the third factor is definition of done when the team can say a specific item is complete and if they are able to say this then how much time it will take so these three factors will determine what can be done once the why and the what are clear the third aspect that the team look into is how they want to proceed with the entire sprint so the how part is also dis discussed in detail in a sprint planning the team discuss how each item can be completed and what is required by the team in order to successfully complete them it might be possible that for item a the team require database administrator help which is outside the team so the team can ask for an collaboration or put in a task that we need to collaborate and make sure that this database administrator is available in order to complete our story it might be possible that the team is waiting for some external product delivery in order to proceed for feature number two in that case the team can also decide and discuss whether that has been done in the past or not is there a dependency that exists and if it is not fulfilled what happened next all these details need to be discussed during sprint planning and how it is done is the sole discretion of the developer this is the key even though the direction is being given by the product owner how fast they can go how they want to walk is being determined entirely by the developers so even though some of you might think that the product owner is the boss or the manager scrum also suggest that how something need to be done should be decided by developers and again from developers i am not only referring to coders i am also referring to testers to business analyst subject matter expert whoever is a part of a scrum team but not a scrum master or a product owner one more aspect that need to be understood is a sprint planning has to be for eight hours or less based on your sprint duration now suppose if you have a really long sprint planning maybe for two days that means that the product owner has not prepared in the right order or he still need to work during the sprint on his product backlog refinement further in order to ensure that the team stick within, within the time box the second if it is too short maybe for half an hour or 15 minutes then it means that the team has lost the confidence on sprint planning and in both these cases 
it's the responsibility of scrum master to ensure that it stick within the time box limit it should not be too short and it should not be too long even though scrum guide does not suggest how short it can be but my personal experience it should be long enough to answer all possible questions that the team wanted to do in the next 3 weeks so in short the team need to answer three questions why something need to be done that will be answered by product owner what need to be done that will be identified by the team based on three things number 1 past performance number 2 team capacity and number 3 definition of done and how it need to be done how is the sole discretion of the developers it need to be done within the time boxing of 8 hours for one month sprint and it can be shorter for a shorter sprint cycle i hope now you understood the concept of sprint plan now let's move on to our next event thank you very much